Friends, in this video, we will continue our journey of pen testing. The machine would be Super Mario. I think this is some sort of a very old game, right? The link will be added into the description section below so that you can download it if you want. Before we move forward, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. I do appreciate your help and support. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can go inside the Canon Linux VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target with command net discover and use option of I to specify the interface interface to send packets to discover the IP address of the target. As you can see, the IP address of target could be identified as 254. Then we need to do the port scanning with a map to save time. I've already done that earlier. For now, we just cut out this result. As you can see, I use the option of scene scan, the version scan, the default script scan, and then use the option of dash p dash to do the comprehensive scan. This option is very important for this machine, otherwise the nmap cannot de discover uh, this port number 8180. So from the scanning results, we can tell that the target has two open ports. The first one is 22 running SSH surface and also the version information although this is not a new one. However, we cannot utilize some obvious vulnerability except the user name vulnerability, user name emulation vulnerability. The next one is 8180, which is running HTTP surface and also the verse information. You know, maybe this injects, not Apache, okay? which doesn't matter. So what we are going to do next, we need to do the emulation with the web application both manually and automatically. Let's launch our browser and put the IP address of a target into the address bar. Press enter. Yeah, we need to, you know, we need to remove. It's too busy? Interesting, why? Can we remove? Maybe I can check whether I can use command line to retrieve the this site. Oh, sorry, I forgot to specify the port number. My bad. And this case is not a default port number. Eighty one eighty. As you can see, welcome to Injex another popular or famous web application software and nothing special and we can check the source code of this page nothing interesting also next we can access robots file to see whether this site has robots file not found next we can use ligato to do the emulation yeah please specify the port number yeah very unusual port number. You know, when we deal with the web application, in most cases, we need to use Nigato to do the emulation because it can tell us like the header information, the common files or directories. Of course, this case, nothing but not so much information we can get Nigato. Next, we can use GoBuster to do the directory Emulation. Hold the number. And use, use option of dash W to specify the word list. If you follow my channel, I always use the buster word list to do this brute forcing, you know, and extension option. Press enter to see whether we can find 
some interesting directories of files. This will not take a long time. I like GoBuster in comparison to DealBuster, you know. I like GoBuster the most, if I can say this. Of course, we cannot just use one tool to do the to do our penetration or information immersion. Sometimes we need to combine different utilities and techniques. As you can see, the GoBuster has successfully discovered this directory. We can copy and access this directory. Yeah, we got this. I think this is the configuration of this target. I mean, the web, web application configuration file. From here, we can get to know the host name or domain name we can copy and append this host name to the host file. We can use echo, IP address, and followed by the host name or domain name. Of course, you can also use the Vim and the Nello editor to do that. However, this would be more convenient for me. So we can sudo, turn to sudo, t command with a option to append this entry to this file. Okay, it's done. Now we go back to the browser and then we can access. Oh, not this one. We can remove the IP address. And also we need to put the pod number in the end. As you can see, we got this page back. Yeah, this is a manual game. Hmm, I think we do not need to play this game at all. So for now, we just check the source code to see whether we can find other use useful information. Yeah, nothing like that. Also, we can, you know, for this domain name, we can make make directory emulation again. We can use GoBuster, dr command, and put in here. Option. The, I still use the same word list. DRBuster directory and extension option. For example, PHP, HTML, text. Press enter to see whether we can find something interesting. Yeah, we got the menu. The menu. Menu. Yeah, we got the same page. Nothing different. And the command. Command PHP. Yeah, can we find a user here? For example, my name, Jason. Search. Or, you know, hello. User not found. Interesting. Yeah, we can put aside. Yeah, look G. Yeah, we can copy this. Maybe we can open another tab. We can copy this URL. Lu G PHP. Here we got something from the server. My short brother Lu G. So maybe this is another username, right? We can note it down to our notebook. I doesn't know what I'm wandering around his host and the messing around his new with computers. 
Since I'm here, I want to tell you more about myself. My brother is a nice person, but we are in love for the same person, Princess Peach. I hope she will find out about this. I love Peach. So maybe the Peach is another user. Maybe. Peach. Luigi. So maybe we can use this page to, to test. Luigi, search. Luigi. Search. Interesting. We can copy this. Yeah, user exists. So it this confirm our guess. If we put in existing user into this field, and then the target will reply back with user doesn't exist. So here we can know that the user Luigi is there. So now we can use the Hydra to crack the puzzle and also the pitch. Of course, we can use the default lock you with the list to crack. However, to save time, I'd like to create the custom with the list. Yeah, this case is this page. We can copy this one. We can use Q command and take it in here and uh, we can save it into text file. Missing URL. Q Q yeah, Q okay Q and paste in here the W and W text. Interesting. Missing URL argument. Oh sorry. There should be space between one and the URL. Press enter, and we can check how many words. Yeah, 44. And maybe this, uh, this dictionary is too small, and we can use the John Reaper to create a bit bigger word list. And uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you. Word list, dict. And we can use loose stand output to passwords text. And we can check now how many words. Yeah, 2,216. So the loose means that we will apply some loose onto the original dictionary. And so the the dictionary would be would be enlarged. Okay, so now we can use Hydra and specify the word list passwords SSH. Press enter. We'll wait for some time and then let the Hydra to run to see whether we can retrieve the password for this user, Luigi. And also we have another user, right? Maybe if we cannot crack the password for this user and we need to we need to make or do the same things for another user. Okay. You know, Hydra, when we try to crack passwords, Hydra is very powerful. 
Also, there is another very powerful utility, Medusa, right? However, for me, I always use Hydra. You can use Hydra to crack password for many, many services like FTP service, like HTTP service, HTTP get, HTTP post, and also the SSH, many, many different types of service could be supported by Hydra. And we can use the option normal L to specify the user name, or we can use the uppercase L to specify the user name dictionary. Similarly, we can use uppercase P to specify the password dictionary and followed by the surface and the target information. Of course, in this case, you also can use the lock queue. In many, many scenarios, we can use the lock queue. Lock queue is very a big word list. I, I'd like to save the time of this video, so I, I will not use lock queue to crack the password for, with, for this machine. All right? Maybe I need to pause the video, and when it's done, and I will come back. As you can see, I'll come back, and uh, the Hydra successfully retrieved this compilation of username and password. So we can copy this password onto our notebook, and then we can SSH, SSH to the target, right? Luigi. And the IP address of the target. Yeah, I need to remove the history keys information. And make, make another collection. Yes. Not correct. Could be this one. Luigi should be correct. Luigi. Interesting. What's happening? Yeah, we are successfully logging to the target as user Luigi, and we can list. Yeah, we can run the ID. Of course, as you can see, the forbidden command. It means that although we have already made successful logging or collection to the target, we are still within the restrict a share and we can cannot run many commands i think yeah forbidden so next we need to escape from this restrict share so how to do for me the the first way i'd like to try is this one we can try to use different a shell type not a batch type, I'd like to use the shell type with the option of T and the Luigi one. However, the forbidden shell escape, it means that this way cannot work. Of course, there are so many different ways to escape from the restricted shell. And uh, I've already got this website open. And you can try one by one. Uh, for me, for now, I just copy this one. This one can work. And uh, we can connect to the target again. Paste. As you can see, now we can run command. And we can spawn the bash session. And next, we can do the local emulation. Cut a message. 
Yeah, I had to see it coming. Nothing interesting. And also we can go to the manual. Hmm. Maybe I can, can I, oh yeah, permission denied to SSH directory. Maybe it will be better. We can upload the Nympia shell script to do the automatic immigration. I already got this script or file already. In order to upload this script, the easiest way for me is to set up the web server on the Kali Linux by Python HTTP server module. So for now, we just uh, navigate to temp directory and followed by the Kali Linux IP address. Got the number, mean peers, just clipped. And then we can make it executable. And then we can run this just clipped. You know, this script can help us to do the automatic immigration. You know, many ways is, is we need a bit of long time to finish and also always neglect or ignore important information. The, the, the right way to make local immigration is to combine the manual immigration and automatic immigration. Yeah, we need to integrate. As you, as you can see over here, they, this script can go through so various aspects of the machine. For example, like uh, as it's, it's done, for example, like uh, capabilities information, the SUID, binary information, and so on and so forth. And we can scroll back, scroll to the top to see whether we can find the vectors. Such a vector can lead us to the per escalated privilege, cron job information, process information, and also local exploits, even the dirty cow. But I think although dirty cow too can make privileged or you know the privilege escalation, however, the shell is not stable at all. And also we can get the kernel information, 3.13. I think we can find other local exploits, okay? So to do that, we can open up another tab. We can use search sprite kernel. And we can use this local exploit. And we can search sprite with option of M. Next, we can upload this exploit to the target. And we can use, because web server is already started, and we can Okay, file not found, so maybe not this one. I can copy the file name and paste in here. Yeah, it's done. And next we need to compile this C code. However, how to how to do we can cut out this code. Usually the instruction to compile compile will be in the header, okay? Yeah, this one, very easy. So we can use GCC compiler, exploit, and the file name, no error. And then we can run this exploit. As you can see from the banner, we are successful, we succeed we succeed in escalating our privilege. And then we can navigate to root directory. And the flag, even the flag is compressed. So we need to download this file to the Kali Linux to decompress how to do. Yeah, I'd like to use another way. We can check 
the Python 3. Python 3 is there, so we can set up the web server on the target. Now we go back to the kernel Linux. We can use wget followed by the target IP address flag zip. No problem. Of course, you can use John the Reaper to crack. However, because this file is zip, another, I think, it, another two is more powerful. F crack zip. Zip. And we can use the D option, which means that we need to use dictionary to crack. And we can, you know, we can specify the dic password dictionary. Share with list. Lock you. And use option of U. It means that we need to use unzip to decompress. And then flag, press enter. Yeah, as you can see, very quick, we have already got the password for this zip file. So now we can unzip this flag. As you can see, we can now, we can retrieve the root flag or final flag. So that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.